The watering system in your sunlight shed utilizes hydroponics, which means growing without soil. Believe it or not, growing plants in water is very easy and requires little effort to maintain proper nutrient and pH levels. Your sunlight shed comes standard with a 14 plant hydroponic system, but if you wish to use soil, you may. However, you will experience far better results by avoiding the use of soil. The reason for this massive difference is your plants are constantly being provided all the nutrients, water, and trace elements needed to become large and healthy. The reason plants normally grow large root structures is to stretch out through the soil searching for food and water sources. If you provide the necessary food and water in such great abundance, there is no need for such massive roots and more energy is used to grow leaves and plant matter. Whether you're starting from seeds or clones, you'll be amazed at just how fast your plants will grow with our hydroponic system. Our hydro system integrates drip feed, ultrasonic, and bubbler technologies as standard on all of our larger plug and play systems. This three-way system ensures that if one feeding method fails, the others will keep your plants growing healthy and reduce the possibility of wilting. Each hydroponics drip head has an adjustable water flow, so you can increase, decrease, or shut off entirely the water flow to the base of each plant. Your drip system should be on 24 hours a day, along with your fogger and air pump. If you try to put your watering system on a timer, you will most likely kill your plants. Our ultrasonic fogging system turns the water and nutrients in your reservoir into a 10 micron fog that helps increase root growth by over 25%. If you choose to use heavy organics, you should monitor your drip heads more carefully than when using inorganics. However, even if a drip head did clog, your ultrasonic fogger alone can keep your roots growing at an unbelievable rate. If organic buildup does occur, it's easy to clear by simply unscrewing the drip heads and allowing the clog to be pushed out. Unpack your hydroponics chamber and make sure you have all the necessary parts. Water pump, hydrogen, 14 organic plugs, 14 net pots, fully assembled irrigation lid, the one with the black tubing, aquarium air pump with air stone, and large reservoir. First, take your water pump and place it on the bottom of your reservoir. Attach the water pump tube to the barbed elbow on the underside of your drip system lid. Run the power cord through the smaller hole on the side of your reservoir lid. Then place the fogger into the black float and set it into your reservoir. Run the power cord out of the same hole as the water pump and plug into the AC adapter. Next, you need to rinse the bag of hydrogen by taking the plastic bag and fill it halfway with water. Then seal the bag and shake it once or twice to take off the red clay residue. Next, proceed to pour out the water in the bag while not pouring out the hydrogen. Continue by placing the nut pots on the ground and fill halfway with hydrogen then place an organic plug on top of the hydrogen. Proceed to fill the rest of the nut pots with hydrogen until the hydrogen reaches the top of the organic plug in the top of the nut pot. Next, take your air pump and place it behind your reservoir in such a way that it does not vibrate and create noise, and put the air stone inside your reservoir so that it is bubbling in the water. Finally, plug everything in and watch your system in action. To plant your seed, simply place it in the center hole located in the middle of the organic plugs that came with your hydro system. After several days, you'll see a seed sprout and soon roots protruding out of the bottom of your grow cube. If you're starting from clones, simply transplant a clone into the 3-inch nut pot and surround with the red clay hydrogen for root support. Soon roots will grow out of the bottom of the nut pot and take hold. Be sure to keep the, keep the drip feed system so that it's not directly dripping onto a new seedling as it may stress the plant. Try to keep it to the side of the seedling, but still wetting the organic cube. You should change the water in your reservoir every three weeks to prevent toxic buildups. If your drip heads are not dripping properly, then unscrew each drip head until the clog is pushed out. Also, check your water pump filter for buildups and wash it under running water to clean out any accumulated clogs. If your fogger ceases to work, you may need to order a cheap replacement disc from sunlightsheds.com. If you notice green algae buildup on your organic starter plug, then simply cover the green algae area with a black plastic substance such as a cutout trash bag. However, the green algae will not cause a problem unless it's present in very abundant qualities. For example, your entire reservoir is full of green slime.